one of the largest fundraisers of the year for the Boniface Fine Arts Center. This morning, Ansley Watson is joining us, showing us some of the things that you can expect from the event. She'll be down there uh, letting us know more about the great things that they will have for this art auction. Uh, good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. It's called Auction for the Arts. There's over 100 pieces that have been donated for this auction that people have already been bidding on. In fact, the uh, actual auction is tomorrow evening at 630. There will be a silent auction and a live auction where people can continue bidding. There's so many great pieces of art here and not only art, but other items as well that we will be talking about later in the hour. So reporting live in Escanaba, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Ansley. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful fundraiser. Getting ready for the day. The weekend is Welcome here. back. The Boniface Fine Arts Center is hosting an art auction on Saturday. It's one of their biggest fundraisers of the year. This morning, Ansley Watson is at the Boniface telling us more about what they have. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. This gallery is looking amazing with all of this art that's been donated here for the auction. Joining me this morning is the events coordinator, Christina Carlin. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How long have you been working on organizing this? This is quite a gallery here. <sighs> yes, um, this is our biggest event of the year as far as fundraising is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so we really actually start organizing it way back in October. Oh, wow. Yes, and so it's um, a long process and we get everything you know done you know, just from even acquiring sponsors to acquiring volunteers for the night of. So this has been a, a long ordeal, so we're excited to see it all come together. Yeah, and how long has this been going on for you? Like you said, this is the biggest fundraiser of the year. Yeah, so um, about 25 years this has been happening. So everyone just comes together, the community comes together, and so this has really been a calendared event for a long time. Wow, what can people expect whenever they come here? Well, we are having food, uh, donate. I'm sorry, not donated, uh, brought in by uh, Stonehouse and Susie D's desserts. Um, we're going to have um, coffee. We're going to have three bars for beer and wine and some cocktails. And um, just, it's going to be a great night out. It's a really great way to um, support the Boniface. Mm -hmm. And what is, like, what are these benefits going towards here at the Boniface? So, all the proceeds that are raised uh, for tomorrow night, um, everything is going to go towards maintenance of the building, but more importantly, the programs and the classes that we offer here uh, to both youths and adults. What are some of those programs and classes? Uh, for instance, we have uh, weekly yoga classes mm -hmm. here, um, and those are pretty popular with us. Um, we have our gallery exhibits. You know, we're always changing them up. We're always looking in the future for that, and so figuring out that um, with our fundraising is always a must. Um, we have um, painting workshops. We have clay molding workshops. Everything, we do it all. And people are already bidding on some of these items. How are they doing that? That's right. So preview week began this past Tuesday on the 10th. And so with preview week, we have everything ready for everybody to come in and view. Um, and anyone who wants to go ahead and start bidding on silent auction items can do so at that mm -hmm. time. And they just sign up for a number. And they're just looking around and penciling in what they want. Kind of explain that. You said there's going to be a silent auction. There's also going to be a live auction later yes. that evening. Yes, that is correct. So silent auction is our first um, auction of the night and that's going to end at 8 30 and so people have about two hours to kind of figure out what they want and and be tactful mm -hmm. and um and then uh, about nine o'clock we begin our live auction and uh, that's going to be on our studio stage we're going to have an auctioneer and everything how fun yeah it's going to be a <laughs> lot of fun so we're really excited we have a great live auction selection this year too now, just kind of preview this, we're going to talk more about this in the next segment, but there, I mean, there's so much here that's been donated, kind of what is here. Everything you think of, we've got a lot of art pieces from mm -hmm. both local and regional artists. We have, we have tons of quilts this year, actually. We They're have, beautiful. yes, they really are. And uh, we have um, pottery pieces. We've got sports memorabilia for the men. Uh, we even have down to a pull cue. So, <laughs> uh, so we've got a little bit of everybody. Uh, Featured here. Yeah, so everybody is invited. This is for everyone to come. Yes, um, so tickets are still on sale. Um, you can get them in advance uh, for $20 or you can pay $25 at the door. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank we'll you. talk more about this later in the hour. Reporting live in Escanaba, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. <gasps> all right, thank you very much, Ansley. Good weekend to be able to get out and do all sorts of interesting things, provided you bring the right outdoor Welcome gear. back. Well, the auction for the arts is Saturday, and it's the biggest fundraiser of the year for the Boniface Fine Arts Center. This morning, Ansley Watson is down in Escanaba to tell us a little bit more about the event. And Ansley, would you say everything looks ravishing? Ravishing? Yeah. I would say something like that. <laughs> Look around. Some beautiful <laughs> things donated here for the auction. 
Joining me this morning is Christina Carlin, and she's the events coordinator yes. for this whole fundraiser. Yes. How's it been for you? It's been hectic, I'm not going to lie, but it's been really coming together really well here. Biggest fundraiser of the year. Yes. So many things have been donated. Do you even know how many things or items are in here? It's approximately 160 items total. Wow. Yes. All donated. And yes, it's like a lot of handmade things. And yes. Well, you know what? Let's just walk around. Let's just okay. show what is in here exactly. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, so, I mean, we have everything here from handmade rugs to, to really nice art pieces. Um, this one here um, was donated by Joanne Shelby um, up in Marquette, and the one below it is a really popular artist here. Her name is Megan Flannery, and she's always um, been really wonderful it's in beautiful. donating stuff for the auction. And we just have a lot of really great stuff and really a lot of different stuff mm -hmm. too, a little bit for everybody. And it's not even all art. I mean, looking over here, mm -hmm. there's there's things for men as well. I mean, we got yes. a, a Packers football that's been yes, signed. Yes, we do. Yeah, um, I mean, we even had this really wonderfully made um, sofa table here. This is um, a signed photograph of uh, Justin Verlander from the Detroit Tigers. Wow. Um, a picture, a very good picture, by the way. Um, and actually, he's he's been all over the place. He's been in the news recently too. So. That helps. Go him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I mean, we've got stuff from the Swedish Pantry, which is really popular around here. Um, we've got beautiful glassware, some prints. Um, I mean, we even have a pull cue. We have a knife. So that's <laughs> always great. You can always use a knife for something yes. in the kitchen, right? <laughs> uh, and then we always get the, the Packers football designed by the entire team, actually. Wow. Yes. So um, that's always a really great and popular piece. That is. Um, so yeah. And this is all, a lot of it is, this is silent auction stuff. Yes, this is all silent auction stuff. Um, our live auction items are right over here. Um, and we have a really great selection this year. Uh, just a little bit of everything again. Um, we've got stuff from the Creation Station here in town. So they are, they're actually just opening. Um, and they do like the wine and canvas parties. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we've got a party for 10 um, for auction. We have a beautiful piece by Martha Fever. She does wonderful stuff as far as um, um, embroidery and weaving um, the embroidery together. It's like layers upon layers wow. of Oh, that's threads. like thread? Yes. And she creates these images and everything, and they're just beautiful oh, wow. and so detailed, so very detailed. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and um, I mean, we have another piece of sports memorabilia here. Um, this is Ryan Braun from the Milwaukee uh, Brewers. We've got um, a beautiful painting of the farmer's market mm -hmm. um, by Sharon Vosmo. And uh, I mean, and we just have it all. We have watercolors. We even have a really great uh, UP diamond pendant necklace donated from Richardson's Jewelry. Wow. Yes. Uh, and this is actually a, hand, um, a crafted piece custom at Richardson's. And okay. So it's not even like really available everywhere. So I think that's a really great point. Mm -hmm. um, and the wheelbarrow. So, <laughs> yeah, what's the story behind so this? So the wheelbarrow, this is going to be our garden of spirits. And so every year we had together. Um, the Boniface board, the staff, friends, volunteers, everything. They all come together and they donate um, a bottle of, of a beverage. Okay. And so this year we are, we're putting it in a barrel and um, we're calling it the Garden of Spirits. Nice, yes. very creative. <laughs> so yeah, it's all coming together really, really nice. Um, we also have, of course, tons of stuff for the ladies mm -hmm. and great gift items too. There is, look yes. around. So we have some really great um, jewelry here too. Mm -hmm. uh, this part of the silent auction. And so uh, some really great pendants. Um, this piece Pink one here, the pink topaz, is donated by Dharma Gray, and uh, we've got something from Nyman's Jewelers, and a lot of stuff is also handmade as well. Wow. Well, real quick, what time should people come? When does this even start? Begins at 6.30 here at the Boniface. Um, the live auction is going to begin at 9. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Tickets are still available. They can get them in advance or at the door. This is happening tomorrow evening. Yes, that's All right. right. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. Thank you. Reporting live in Escanaba, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break. Thank you.